Yeah, buddy. What's going on, guys? This is Polo, and I have a pro tip for you on how to better multitask with a multi-core computer. Now, when I say multi-core, uh, I mean pretty much a, a quad-core and up. Because if you have a dual core, you should always have both cores going like full blast on whatever you're doing. And just so it gets done faster, unless you unless you're just really really patient. But uh, honestly, one core, it just doesn't cut it with most stuff. But what I want to show you, if I can direct your attention to the top right up here, I'll click. Um, you see my CPU usage little meter up here. And cores one and two are, you know, eh, they're working because I'm recording right now and I have a couple other things going on in the background. But actually, core two, or core one and two, are supporting everything right now on my computer because cores 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all, you know, full blast because I'm actually rendering, I'll open it up for you, I'm actually rendering right now, and uh, I mean, most times if you, you know, whenever you start a render, uh, it will, you know, all, you know, all the processing power of your computer is dedicated towards, like, that render because, you know, you can't really do anything else because it, it relies mostly on uh, your your processing ability but I'm gonna show you how to multitask see I've only dedicated three four five and six to the render and hang on I need both of my hands let's see control alt delete and then uh, start the task manager and then here is everything that is currently um, let's see it's gonna be on the applications one right here but uh, just tab over just one to the right of processes and it shows everything uh, that you're, you know, doing right now. Uh, and then the middle column, the little zeros, all that is, you know, what is, you know, how much CPU usage something is using. And if I go down here, you'll see this 65. This is Sony Vegas right here. Now right click on uh, the Sony Vegas. And the two things you want to pay attention to are set priority and set affinity. First thing is set priority and I tried real time, but it just uh, the best I could do, I guess, uh, with four cores was high priority, and pretty much this is self-explanatory. It's like how much power do you want to devote to this? Like, you know, how important is this? But then to set which core to do what, um, you go into, hang on, right click, set affinity, and see. Look, I've, you've got an all processors button right here or a checkable box. And then you've got CPU 0 through 5. Well, I mean, I do anyway. This is basically uh, the number of cores you have. And so I can set, see, I've got, you know, these four dedicated to this render right now. But then I can add and take away as many as I want to. And then whenever you get however many uh, you want dedicated to the given task, just click OK. And you will see that, you know, cores 1 and 2 are freed up to do anything uh, that I, I need them to. And then three, four, and five are pretty much taps wide open, uh, dedicated to rendering my video. So uh, you know that that's a cool way where I can you know you can render uh, and upload at the same same time if you you know play games like I do, um, you know with that that doesn't take a monster processor to run. Um, you know you can game and render and everything and it's not gonna you know mess with anything or anything like that so i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions let me know peace